is today in central New York. And Carol Watson has brought us in so many tall plants that we're standing <laughs> instead of sitting because we'd be hidden by all the plants. What a gorgeous display. Yes, tropicals are a phenomenal display all summer long in central New York. And the word tropical scares a lot of people. Yeah. Laura, but it's not hard. Yeah. Um, let's talk about some of the things that are in front, first of all, the red one. And you're holding one just right. like it. Yes, you want hummingbirds. This mandevilla is fabulous. Oh, yeah. Um, I've got just one, so you can see already how yeah. big it's getting. They, they are vines, and they just keep going, right? And tropicals grow very quickly, yeah. and they bloom all summer long. Okay. Do they need special fertilizer or anything? No, just fertilize them like you would your annuals. There you go. Let's uh, give equal time to the pink one next to the red one here in front. It's another mandevilla. Okay. So they come in, in assorted colors. Uh, if you have a pastel thing working in your garden, you can do that, too. Yes, absolutely. Um, you also have a lantana here, which is one of my favorite flowers. Right. It, it's incredible. It's not as floriferous as it yeah. usually is, yeah. but it also has a fabulous fragrance. It's yeah, kind of it spicy. Really, it's minty. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful. And now these can come inside. I've overwintered them, oh, so absolutely. you can do that. No, no all question. the tropicals can. Okay. Um, gardenias. If you're looking for fragrance in your garden, look at this. And it's got a beautiful green waxy yeah. leaf, so it's very luxurious looking. Yeah. And, you know, people look at them and they say, wow, could I really grow that? Is it, is it hard? Well, the gardenia is the hardest of any yeah. of these. Yeah. Okay. But, but with a little care and feeding, you can do it. You can. Okay. And then if you're into blues and purples, look at this. Looks like a blue geranium. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. This is plumbago. Plumbago. Uh -huh. um, comes in blues and white. Uh -huh. The blue is the most popular. Yeah. It, uh, again, is a very fast grower. This actually needs to be cut back. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> now, you have it on a standard, which is to say it's been trained to go on one single branch. But do they come in kind of bushy, smaller they ones, too? They come in bushy, and they okay. come on a pole. So they're just a, a nice, colorful vine. Oh, okay. Vine. Okay, and it's obviously at peak right now, but does it keep doing this all summer long? Yeah, no, the tropicals wow. are better than the annuals. Uh -huh. You don't need to dead hem as often uh -huh. as you would an annual, uh -huh. but they're going to just keep going like crazy, especially this kind of heat and sun. Yeah. They love it. Yeah, and I'm going to get a headache from the <laughs> gardenia. This fragrance is gorgeous, but let's give equal time to the yellow one down in front here. Yeah, that's interesting. It's yeah. called Uriops. Don't okay. try to spell it. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's got a very interesting leaf, too. You see, it's kind yeah. of a cut leaf. Kind of a pine cone Yeah, it looks looking. like a yeah. yellow daisy tree. Yeah. Um, another wonderful, colorful okay. plant, and that one's on a standard. Okay, so look, if you want some bright color for an accent in your garden, don't give up on the tropicals because there are all colors, shapes, and sizes. Right, and make your neighbors jealous. There you go. That's a good idea for a gardener. <laughs> Carol, thank you. Um, if you want to see them up close, Carol is down in Lafayette. There is the address and a website. We'll see you again next Saturday. Sounds great. Okay, and we'll be right back.